little discovery I made, and it may not be a big discovery. Other people probably knew about it, but I didn't. Uh, and as I was looking at a problem this morning, uh, I just noticed something. Regrouping across zeros is always one of the hardest things that we have to do uh, when it comes to subtraction and math. So this is a problem where I have a one in the ones place and I would have to regroup and I have this zero. So I can't regroup. I can't get any tens to move over to the ones. So what do I do? Well, normally I have to cross out the zero and then go to the three and then make the three a two and then make the zero a ten because I'm moving 100 over to the tens, and then I can make the 10 a 9 so that I can make the 1 an 11. And it's always a lot of steps, and it's always really easy to forget one of those steps. But then I started looking, and I realized, wait a minute, this isn't really just 30. This is actually 30 tens, okay? So 30 tens. I have a 3 in the hundreds, a 0 in the tens, so that Three in the hundreds and zero in the tens is the same as 30 tens. So what if I start looking at the number like that? So instead of this being a three and a zero and a one, if I look at it like it's a 30 and a one, it makes my regrouping so much easier because all I need to do then is cross out the one and change the 30 to a 29. So I'm going to cross out the 1, change the 30 to a 29, 2 in the hundreds, 9 in the tens, and then I can make that 1 into an 11 because I took one of those 30 tens and I moved it in as 10 ones. So 30 tens becomes 10 ones. I already had one one, so 10 plus one gives me my 11. So there's where I get my numbers. And that was so much easier to me than regrouping and having to change all those steps. So I'm hoping this is something that can help you. Then I can just subtract 11 minus four is seven, nine minus six is three, two minus one is one, and I get my difference of 137. And then I got to thinking, well, if this works with one zero, will it work on some of the more complex problems? Like what if I have 7,003 minus 5,728? Well, let's take 700, cross it out and make it 699. I am taking one away. So I have 700 tens. If I take one of those tens away, I have 699 tens. And that means I can move over one of those tens as 10 ones to get 13. And when I subtract that out, 13 minus eight is five, nine minus two is seven, nine minus seven is two, and six minus five is one. So I was starting to feel pretty good. Now, what if I go really big? If, if it's working on these kind of little problems, what about a really big problem? Will it still work? Well, let's see. I have 8,001,000,456,789. Okay, so if I take 8 million and I think of it as 80,000 tens, and eight with five zeros would be 80,000. 80,000 tens, even though the commas aren't quite in the right spot there. Okay. Then I can take that and I can take one of those away. Or actually, I'm sorry, that's 800,000 tens. So if I take one of those away, now I have 799,999 tens. And so I took one ten away. I'm going to add that ten into the ones place as ten ones. So now I have 11 again there. 11 minus 9 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, and 7 minus 3 is 4, and it works. So it works on every problem I've tested. I feel pretty confident that it's going to always work. Uh, so looking at this, that just made it a whole lot easier to me to think, okay, if I take this and I take one away from it, instead of a problem like I would have traditionally done on a problem like that, uh, that would have been a lot harder to regroup all the way over to the eight and make this a 10 so I can make this a nine, so I can make this a 10, so I can make this a nine. Just seemed a whole lot easier to me. I hope it seems easier to you and helps you out as well. So good luck with the subtraction and uh, keep trying, keep working hard and keep focusing on all those little individual steps that can make subtraction a little tricky sometimes, especially with these greater numbers. Thanks everybody. See you next time.